I'm going to launch my terraformer on a D12 sugar motor. You can find these discarded casings in the bottom of the trash can at any launch, usually by the dozen. And uh, I saw the case, the nozzle, and I thought, well, why not see if I can refill it and make it work? And it does. So today I'm going to set this up on the launch rod and let you see for yourself. I have the terraformer loaded up on the launch rail and I have remote ignition. As you can see, that's the safe way to do it. The igniter is pushed all the way into the top of the grain, and uh, I really hope it doesn't go on top of the garage. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Well, land on the neighbor's house. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, that was fun. If you've ever considered making your own rocket fuel or rocket motors, I have several tutorials on how to make sugar fuel for like this 38 millimeter Bates grain. Uh, also, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to refill this motor and make the fuel for it. So stay tuned for that. Hit the bell for notifications to make sure that you don't miss that. I used a 3 16 inch maxi rod from Estes to launch this. Uh, a longer rod would perhaps work a little bit better, I'm not sure. This is still a work in progress but I will leave a link in the description for an Amazon uh, link that you can purchase this rod. Anything that you purchase through my links will earn a small commission for me, and I'd appreciate that. Let's talk about the terraformer. I reinforced the top of it with a little bit of plywood on the top. You could also use balsa wood or something like that. In case you do hit the house or land on an air conditioner, hopefully it won't break. The Rocketarium also sells several other models that are similar, that are tumble recovery. I'll leave a link to one on Amazon that I'm going to purchase next, and uh, it probably will use a shorter rod and work a little bit better. So we'll see what happens with that. So make sure you hit that bell icon to remind you of any videos that I post so you can follow this project. Don't forget to stop by my channel and do some binge watching. I'll see you in the next video.